Welcome back to Candy's Art World. I'm Candy and today we are going to draw a flower in a vase. Um, it's kind of a beachy feel. Not really sure what kind of flower it is. Um, I did find the photo that I used as a reference either from Pixabay or Pixels.com. Um, they're a web page where people upload f photographs and stuff that you can use any way you want to, royalty free. Um, I like to go there for inspiration when I don't have an idea of what I really want to do or if I, if I need um, a reference photo for a specific thing that I want to be able to draw as close to accurately as possible. Um, check them out. They're really awesome web pages. The photo was a little different. I modified it to what I wanted in the photo. Well, in the in the art piece here. Um, and I used my Derwent ink tints blocks mostly and I also used my ink tints pencils also from Derwent. Um, I used the the blocks mainly for the background and the table and I, I used the the pencils for the more detailed work on the the petals on the flower and the and the pebbles on the table. Um, the paper I'm using is Canison. Um, XL. It's in a blue. It has a blue cover on the on the uh, tablet. Um, but I cut it down to fit whatever size I'm wanting to work on. It's a cold press paper. apologize this spot should have been sped up a little bit more um, I apparently left the camera recording when I meant to stop it so there's a whole lot of footage of just a drawing just sitting there being a drawing Right now I'm putting masking fluid on the vase and the flower petals and the little pebbles to keep it at the moment the color of the paper so that way I can work around the, the object without having to <clears throat> go around the lines. I can just go straight across and I tried using the um, ink tints like pastels and rub them on the paper instead of wetting them first with a brush. I, I rubbed them on the paper and then used a wet brush to activate them. Just to see how that worked out. I think I kind of prefer to use a wet brush on the, the block and then put it on the paper instead of the other way around. And then for the 
table I tried like a wet on wet technique where I uh, wet the whole table and then I was doing like some wood grain and then I would go back in with a brush and uh, kind of blend it out a little bit so that way there wasn't a harsh, harsh, harsh lines in it. And the good thing about this medium is you can go in light and build it up or you can go in dark, um, whatever you feel like doing. And then um, I used my rubber cement eraser to pick up the dry masking fluid. And then I placed um, fresh masking fluid on the spots that I wanted to keep white for the highlights. I used the Derwent Inktense pencils to try to keep the the color where I wanted it on the um, flower petals. hoping that it wouldn't bleed out into the background or whatever, and it didn't, it stayed put. And then when you add water to it, it comes to life becomes like 10 times more brilliant than when it was a pencil. My suggestion is to go with light layers and then add water to see where you're at instead of going in really heavy handed with it because you can always layer more layers on it and can't take them back really. But you can go over it with other colors, so I mean, don't be scared. Play around with it, have fun. And I'm adding color to the face. Trying to give it a the feel of being glass. And the little stones on the table. Just trying to give them some detail. I started with just the three rocks on the left just to see how the colors looked when I activated them. shine spots. enjoyed watching please like subscribe and leave a comment have a great day